Well, I had worked as a kid. I, uh, you know, I had had a number of jobs, and then I had my own little thing on my own where I would do lawns and cut wood and do all these things. And I knew I enjoyed working for myself more than I enjoyed working for other people. That was my total consciousness of it as a, as a teenager. And then uh, late in my teens and as a young adult, uh, my plan in life was to be a professional football player. That's all I wanted to do was to be a professional football player. And then uh, during a routine physical, getting ready to go play a season of football, I was diagnosed with a condition that would uh, eventually rob my eyesight and uh, force me to live the rest of my life as a blind person. So I didn't know what I was going to do. And uh, I was able to come back to my hometown of Tulsa, Oklahoma and enrolled in a local college. But um, I realized very quickly that these career paths that college afforded other people uh, weren't really working for me. I, as a blind person, I wasn't fitting into any of these molds. And I realized, uh, you know, our last year of college, a lot of uh, corporate recruiters were on campus looking for people to fill slots in corporations. And I realized they didn't have a slot that fit me as a totally blind, uh, frustrated former football player. That was not going to be a part of my life. So I came up with the idea, why don't I go back to what I used to enjoy, which was working for myself. And uh, from that day to this, I have always worked for myself. Yes, I, I, I wish I could say that I had uh, come up with it on my own, but uh, you know, it, some people choose it, and I fortunately had it forced upon me. Mm -hmm. Well, at age 29, I eventually woke up one day after a decade of slowly uh, losing more and more of my sight each month and each year. At age 29, I woke up that morning, and I had lost all the remainder of my sight. and. Uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Uh, I was 29 years old. I'd never met a blind person. I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. So the only plan I had was I moved into this little 9 by 12 foot room in the back of my house. And in my little room there, I gathered my radio and telephone and tape recorder. And I really fully intended to never leave that room again. I, I, the thought of traveling a million miles a year and talking to a million people or running a television network with a thousand affiliates or writing a dozen books or making movies or writing weekly syndicated columns or sitting here and talking to you. The, the, the idea of any of that outside of my little room would have been terrifying to me. So I sat in there day after day after day getting more frustrated and, and uh, more depressed. And before losing my sight, that little room in the back of my house had been my television room. And I had always collected classic movies on videotape. I love John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart and Humphrey Bogart. And, and, um, one day out of just sheer boredom in my little room there, I decided I'm going to put on one of these old videotapes of a movie, and I've seen it so many times, even though now I'm totally blind, I'll just be able to listen to this and kind of follow along. And it was a uh, Humphrey Bogart film called The Big Sleep, and I love Bogart, and you know, I could kind of remember this as I was hearing the movie playing, I could kind of remember it in my mind, until about halfway through the, the, the videotape, Somebody shot somebody and somebody screamed and the car sped away and I forgot what happened and I got really, really frustrated. And I said the magic words for any entrepreneur. I said, somebody ought to do something about that. <laughs> and the next time you hear yourself say somebody ought to do something about that, you just had a great idea. And you know, and the whole world's looking for a great idea and they trip over one about three times a week. Boy. You know, the only thing you got to do to have a great idea is go through your daily life, wait for something bad to happen and ask yourself, how could I have avoided that? And the answer to that question is a great idea. And the only thing you got to do to turn that great idea into a great business is ask yourself the entrepreneurial question, how could I help other people avoid that problem? And people will give you wealth and fame and prosperity and comfort and satisfaction and everything you ever wanted in this life if you will help them solve their problems.